Navjot Singh Sidhu's arrest is one, but clearly the Congress, uh, which had already sidelined him, a lot of uh, knives out, in especially the Punjab unit for Navjot Singh Sidhu. What amounts to his political career, we'll only know in days to come, doesn't all go well at all. But I want to shift focus right now uh, in Punjab to the other big leader of the Congress, Sunil Jakhar. We are Sunil Jakhar after uh, a Facebook post and on YouTube saying, Goodbye and good luck to the Congress has now shaken hands with the Bharatiya Janata Party. The former Congress chief Sunil Jakar joined the BJP in the presence of a party national president JP Nadda today. Now this is seen as a massive blow to the party's Punjab unit expressing grief over breaking ties with the Congress. He said that he was sidelined because he pointed out that the party cannot treat Punjab in percentages and divide the people over caste. Jakhar said he was heartbroken at being removed from all party posts by the Congress Disciplinary Committee following allegations of anti-party activity against him. The former Congress leader was recently issued a show cause notice by the Congress leadership over his criticism of former Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Channi. हम इंसान हैं हमने रिश्तों को निभाया है असूलों की तरह पर जब असूल ही टूट जाए जब हम अपने सिद्धांत से हट जाए अपनी आइडियोलॉजी से हट जाए तो मैं समझता हूं दिस इज अ राइट टाइम टू हैव अ रीथिंक उसको सारा सोचना पड़ता है कि हम जा किस तरफ रहे हैं नड्डा साहब आपने देखा कि मैंने गुड बाय बोला मेरी तरफ से तो गुड बाय ग्यारह तारीख को जिस दिन मैंने देख लिया कि आवाज के ऊपर पाबंदी लगाने के लिए नोटिस जारी किए जा रहे हैं तो आवाज नहीं रोकी जा सकती सुनील को आप पद से हटा सकते हो किसी से दूर कर सकते हो सुनील की आवाज गिर भी नहीं रखी जा सकती आवाज राष्ट्रीयता के लिए उठेगी जिस आत्मीयता से और जिस खुले दिल से बीजेपी के शीर्ष नेतृत्व ने और नड्डा साहब ने आज मिलने का मौका दिया उसका सबसे बड़ा कारण था कि सुनील जाखड़ ने राजनीति को निजी स्वार्थ के लिए इस्तेमाल नहीं किया सुनील जाखड़ ने कभी तोड़ने का काम नहीं किया हमने सभी हमेशा कोशिश की है शायद सफलता ना मिली हो जोड़ने का काम किया है I want to cut back uh, to our reporters, uh, both Lalit, who's joining me from Punjab, and Moshmi, who's joining me from Delhi, getting a larger perspective on the development that has taken place. Moshmi, I'll come right back to you. There are two ways of looking at it. Of course, it's a big loss uh, for the Congress where the Punjab unit is concerned. But where the BJP is concerned, it's a big catch, primarily not, on a eye, not with an eye on Punjab, but with a clear eye on Haryana elections, which are happening, you know, in two years' time. And that's the time when a JART leader, where there is a space between the BJP unit in Haryana, will come into play with Mr. Jakhar. Absolutely, Preeti. You know, Sunil uh, Jakhar and his family have got a long association with the Congress that runs over, uh, you know, 50 years. And uh, so he is a big face and he has considerable influence as a JART leader in the Haryana hinterland. And that, that's one reason that not only Punjab, but uh, Haryana could be impacted. But more than that, the timing of it all, uh, Sunil Jakar leaving along with another big face, Ardik Patel, right when the Chintan Shivir was taking place, uh, it comes as a huge jolt because uh, uh, during the Chintan Shivir, Sunil Jakar left the Congress. While Rahul Gandhi was talking about conversation in the party, about democracy in the party, while the BJP reflected dictatorship. And on the other hand, uh, you know, the reality check gives you a spin back, Ardik Patel, for you who, who says that the leader. Uh, the leadership is inaccessible. Sunil Jaffer says that conversations are not allowed. Uh, democracy, there is no democracy and voices are being muzzled. So that really exposes uh, the Congress and puts the Congress right. in a very, very tight spot. 